Stowaway focuses on a three-person crew on a mission to Mars who face an impossible choice when an unplanned passenger jeopardizes the lives of everyone on board. This Netflix film is directed by Joe Penna, who also co-wrote the screenplay with Ryan Morrison, both of whom worked together previously on Penna's feature directorial effort, Arctic, which is a really well-made film starring Mads Mikkelsen. And this finds them in what seems to be their comfort zone, as this is yet another contained survival thriller just now in space, and with four people this time instead of two like in Arctic. The three crew members are played by Anna Kendrick, Daniel Day Kim, and Tony Collette, and the stowaway in question is played by Shamir Anderson. These are our only characters in the entire movie, and with films that take place on a smaller scale like this, they usually rely heavily on the performances, and you'll be happy to know that everyone here does a really great job of holding this together. Especially since, with the situations these characters are placed in, there's a very grim reality that hangs over everyone's heads, giving this film a bit of a somber tone. And they discover pretty quickly that there's more than likely not going to be a good outcome for this. While they do make an attempt to get out of this with everyone still intact, the film doesn't spend as much time with them trying to find a perfect solution, but more so them pondering what's the least painful way to handle this grueling, ethical dilemma they've been placed in. Anna Kendrick plays the most optimistic of the bunch, and it finds her in her comfort zone as well, but it works here, as it especially saves the film from going far into overly depressing territory, even though we can kind of tell from early on that this won't end well for at least one of these four characters. Daniel Day Kim and Tony Collette play the two more cynical members of the crew, with Collette being in charge of the mission, and they quickly come to terms with the reality of their situation, which leads to some pretty tense confrontations with Kendrick at a number of points. Though to be clear, this film isn't a highly expressive melodrama where characters are making grand speeches every other scene, or constantly getting into monologues where everything feels romanticized, but it's actually a pretty quiet, more restrained thriller, and a lot of the tension stems from moments where not much is said. That's especially best exemplified by Shamir Anderson, who initially comes off as chipper and willing to do what he can to pitch in with the crew, though when he's made aware of the situation, in easily the film's most brutal moment, the way he takes it in was absolutely heartbreaking. Because of its more restrained approach, some may dismiss this as being a little slow or boring, and I gotta disagree there, as I thought at two hours, it moved fairly quickly without feeling rushed, with Penna's direction doing a great job of meticulously building up tension. As for criticisms, I think there were one or two times towards the beginning where it did move off a subject a bit too quickly, and it came off as slightly jarring for me, and I think towards the end, it places so much of an emphasis on one of the characters that everyone else felt like they were pushed off to the side. I would have liked just another 5 or 10 minutes there to fix that, especially since this is a story that only gives way to so many big character moments to begin with. But otherwise, I thought this was an engaging thriller that worked really well. It's a toss-up as far as which I like more between this and Arctic, as they're both really solid films. Now, I'd like to see Penna and Morrison take on something a little bigger in scale next time around, but even if they don't, that's cool too, as they do a great job of keeping our attention with smaller stories like this. Stowaway gets a 7.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Stowaway, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like this story? What's a good survival drama that you've enjoyed? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoy this video, please like it and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.